a fashion design student of Amity University of Fashion Design and Technology. This is my graduation design collection project. I'm giving you an intimate look into the steps that takes me from the conceptual sketch to creating the actual garment. The collection Shilpastra is Spring Summer 2021 and Indo Western Wedding Women's Wear is inspired by ancient Indian architecture like palaces, monuments, gateways, temples, and many more. Which resulted in naming the collection Shilpastra because Manasara, also known as Manasa, is an ancient writer in Indian architecture and design. It is one of the Hindu texts on Shilpastra which deals with crafts such as Pomi statues, jewellery, dyeing, textiles and other things, naming it Shilpastra. The three garments constructed are inspired are among the most celebrated palaces of India, which are Hawa Mahal, Jaipur, Rajasthan, Mysore Palace, Karnataka and Peacock Gate, City, Gate, City Palace, Rajasthan. This collection aims to create outfits that are commercially wearable, though they have some pretty much different elements added to them, which are usually not considered to be there in a wearable outfit. The outfits don't compromise on other elements such as design, colors, and trends. The collection follows up an A-line silhouette that begins fitted and gradually widens from the hips down to the hem. The element added is much of a design itself and create pieces that have a different approach, with them focusing on the quality and paying attention to the details. Shepastra explores the dimension of design. That's why the unique element added to this collection is also dimension, which is achieved by 3D molding techniques where fabric is manipulated in such a way that it risen from the canvas complementing the inspiration and the specific garment. Stamp embroidery where the stitch designs are raised from the surface of the fabric to form a three-dimensional effect. The wooden frames which are custom made strong and lightweight according to the requirement of the design and garment. The inspiration, theme, silhouettes are more to Indian ethnic wear but the trends have been followed by spring summer forecast. When it comes to the colors, the color code created equally complements the architecture of inspiration and forecast. Shilpastra is all about pushing the boundaries of creativity that is putting a three-dimensional design to the clothes with modern movements.
Kolkata School of Fashion Design and Technology. Uh, this is my final year graduation collection. The theme that I had chosen for my graduation collection come from a book that lead me a right direction and help me to drive a right into a chosen my uh, topic and also a subsequently decision the uh, themes and uh, themes and design. The book of joy tells the stories of two spiritual giants. Reading this book made me want to know more about the Tibetan culture. It's inspired me so much that I decided to use Indian monk and architecture as my theme. My collection name is Lugata. Lugata means wine pot in Tibetan language. I have chosen this because of my name of monastery is Tawa. Ta means horse and Wa means chosen. For this collection. I took inspiration for wall paintings, religious elements, and symbolics of symbols of Taiwan Monastery and the drape used by monks. inspiration which is movements so i have created my whole collection which tells you how the movements of universe could tell you and how you could feel them my theme is expression expression the abhivyakta my mood is more about celebrating celebrating your life you never know what is going to be next so just celebrate what you have today and therefore my mood is more about you know having the chilling and relaxing vibe but with the bright and bold colors which could make your life more bright. so the storyline is finally complete but you know what the big task is doing this in reels that could come into my mind whenever i had a free time or 
or whenever I wanted to design anything, I started doing the digital illustration. Talking about digital illustration, I was not at all good, just me. But this do it from home made me do it by myself and I have really developed a lot of good skills. Tossing the fabric and making the patterns. It was quite difficult because it was all online. I tried draping and I really enjoyed this process. So I had draped really uh, good stuff and I enjoyed draping as well. And then we started creating patterns with all the resources we could have and it was quite interesting and a lot of learning as it has to be done at home. The most difficult part I could say because my threads were broken and all this machine stuff. I don't know, somewhere machine could stop working, somewhere I used to get frustrated and mostly my mom was really pissed off because of me because there was a lot of redo stuff happening. And then after stitching, looking after the finishes and how the garment fits well or not. As you can see, my whole collection is inspired by moments. I have used a lot of ruffles and frills as the surface ornamentation. And I have created uh, the texture to my garment using this beautiful frill and ruffles. And finally, we have completed our collections. My name is Dipakshmi Nag. I'm a final year student from MIT University, Mumbai, doing my degree of Bachelor's of Fashion Designing and Technology. My graduation design collection is the Women's Western Party Wear collection. It's inspired from Bowen Carnival, especially its bold colors, bright movements, and loud movements. Also, it resembles with the mood of this collection, which is party, joy, and cheerfulness. So, welcome to the journey of making this collection or other festa. Goa's carnival has become part of my life since when I was a child. Watching all those bright and loud colors, the glitter and shine, the dance, music, food has always showed me up. Starting from some few dominant colors of carnival that are red, black, yellow, blue, and also the glitter element. 
The fabrics which I have used are satin, sequins, corduroy. The satin I have put in large portion because during uh, carnival, satin is the mostly used fabric in Goa. The embroidery is done with satin stitch with the sponge layering to it. It took literally one month to complete it. But the end product was worth the patience and hard work.
My first inspiration for this collection is cactus. After researching so much about cactuses, I decided to choose three different textures of it. I used simple knot technique for this emerald. The second thing was to create the pretty dots, which we can see in bunny ear cactus. I used French knots to create this texture. My graduation design collection, Resistenza, is a streetwear collection. Talking about the name Resistenza, endurance in Italian. My second inspiration is Kaleidoscope. I have used Kaleidoscopic design as my dream for this collection. Fashion is not something that exists in clothes only. It is a mindset, a mindset of creativity, elegance, and beauty. I am Sneha Raikar, a final year student of fashion design from Amity University, and that is my mindset. I was always fascinated by line art. Line art history has always created influential masterstrokes with line. But history has not been kind to line art, wherein it is described as simple or lesser form of art. I strongly believe that there is a lot of power in line. I am inspired by the art form and to explore this I started sketching my own designs. Soon I had various designs which I thought could look good on garments. Then I decided that's going to be my graduation design collection theme. So I started sourcing different types of fabric. Found places where people could print out my designs on fabric. I bought muslin for dress fit, 6 type of suiting fabric and 20 meters white cotton fabric for printing. It was tough because I live in Pune and there's no necessity for such things here. But finally, after struggling for weeks, I got the fabric printer. On the other hand, I started with 12 rough sketches. With time and detailing, I finalized my top 6 design. Similarly, I started working on digital designing the garments and drafting the patterns. Once my designs matched my imagination, I started draping it on mannequin. Post drafting, I got into actual work of bringing these designs to life. Not that my top 6 designs were same since start, I always had to change various types of things while making patterns or stitching the garments. With some help from a professional tailor, I have stitched the garments and completed the final finishing touches.
My name is Advet and I am finally a student of Amity University, Mumbai, pursuing Bachelor's of Design in Fashion 3 Continent program. I did my graduation design collection and the theme is Sakura. The inspiration of my collection comes from Japan, cherry blossom trees and its season. my garment and process from cutting the pattern till finishing of the garment. And in total, I have made two female garments and two male garments. Thank you. which is uh, the apparel division for CRM group and I've always been very impressed by the kind of work that Amity students have done 
in the past that I have seen their work. Even this time, uh, the kind of collection that I saw uh, made by the graduating students, I was very impressed, especially because uh, during this time, the kind of challenges they faced during the lockdown must have been enormous. And the kind of collections that they made, like uh, the surface development, and ornamentation in the collections like Shilpastra or uh, Orada Festa or Lunta was outstanding. Uh, the design concepts of uh, Resistanza or uh, if I should, or the uh, elegant garments that were inspired by something as simple as line arts and collection ranging from the movement of nature to Japanese cherry blossoms. I mean, the wide range of concepts and the variety of designs was so great to see. And I'm sure that all these designers will do great when they uh, join our industry. So congratulations to all the designers who are graduating and also to all the faculty members who have done such a great job with them. Congratulations and well done. Hello everyone, hello Amity University and Amity University students. I'm Nermin Hamada. I'm an, uh, by education, I'm an interior architect. And uh, by profession right now, I'm a digital illustrator. I consider myself uh, a 360 degree creative person. And this is what I'm aiming for and uh, what this is what's going on right now. Um, I am so happy that I got invited again by MIT University to be part of the jury for the final uh, uh, review for the fashion design students of 2017-2021. Uh, um, uh, as always, it's like a lovely experience to talk to the students of MIT. Um, uh, last time, my experience, uh, we, we had virtually talked to uh, to the students and uh, the questions they had and the feedback I had, it was really uh, interesting and productive as a design talk, it was great. Um, so for now, uh, I would like to, after seeing all the projects of the fashion design, um, I have a uh, like, few advice for the students and mainly everybody had a great concept and the great work uh, I enjoyed looking at them and understanding the uh, way of thinking, the creative thinking behind it. Uh, just like always be aware that uh, even if you have a great idea, if you don't present it in the best way, uh, sometimes people won't understand it. And you, get, you might actually lose um, opportunities because of that. So at the end of each project, always take a step back um, look at your project and see how can you edit it to finesse it and to make it as clean as possible. So you need to take care of your own branding as a designer, the branding of the product you're, you are um, showing everyone and like from the makeup to the photo shoot to the shoes, the styling, the accessories, all this will matter at the end. Um, this is only my advice for now for you guys and uh, good luck for everyone. Thank you.